Hey, what's up, everybody? Rob Barrington here for another weekly challenge with these robots. This week, we're playing a normal 10 board, a, a match point challenge versus the robots. We're going to have the best hand every time, and we're going to have to really make some decisions match point wise. I hope that will uh, show us the difference between kind of our normal imp tournament versus match points, right? The extra tricks, competitive auctions are going to be a little different in this sphere. And I hope to uh, at least see a few of those examples as we go forward. So let's just start here. Board one on Monday, we have a 14 count. And this is a time where when we're four, four in the minors, folks, we have four clubs and four diamonds. We open one diamond 100% of the time. If we're 3-3 three, three in the minors, we open one club 100% of the time. So here, normal one diamond bid. Uh, partner bids a spade, and this is the perfect time to bid a no trump. 12 to 14 balanced. Ooh, look at this. Look at this one. I love this auction, folks. What's partner showing with this bid here? We opened a diamond. A partner bid a spade. We bid one no trump, and they now bid two hearts. What type of hand should this be, folks? This is a cool one. And let me ask you another question. Um, well, this is different. Partner's a past hand, so this technically would never be a forcing bid. But to be fair, a partner was not a past hand. This is one of the rare occasions where a new suit by responder would not technically be forcing. And that's because this two heart bid shows a weak hand with five spades and four hearts. In fact, it can't be six to 11, folks. There's no chance it could be six to 11 because what would partner do with a good 10 or 11 in this situation, folks? They play the robot plays, and you should be playing at this point if you're playing any sort of duplicate bridge, or if you're playing with these robots, you're forced to play this convention. It's called new minor forcing. When it goes minor, major, no trump, like it's gone in this auction, one diamond, one spade, one no trump, new minor, two clubs here, would be the investigation bid that is invitational or better. And here, because this person's a past hand, it could only be like 10 or 11, essentially, or a really good nine. Uh, but when they bid two hearts, they have they have gone past that new minor forcing bid. If they had a good hand, they would have been new minor forcing. So what is this, folks? This is a bad hand with five spades and four hearts. We're going to take a preference for spades. We're super happy to play two spades, and that's about all we should be playing, folks. And that's this is great. That's what partner is looking at there. This is not a good enough hand to be inviting to game opposite just a normal 12 to 14. So they get to bid it naturally in this spot. And we happen to know that we can pass two hearts. If I had four hearts on this hand and only two spades or even three spades, I would just pass two hearts because it's not forcing anyway. And even if partner wasn't on past hand, I will know that because they did not bid new minor forcing, they do not have a hand that's worthy of an invitation. So it's a super cool situation. And it's, it's what we would call a negative inference uh, when we play new minor forcing. When we could have used new minor forcing to accomplish the same thing, it's it's an exploratory bid for the majors, and we don't do it. We just don't have the values for it. So here, this should be a very simple play problem here. We're going to eventually take a finesse in the spade suit. The opponents lead the king and then the ace of hearts. Interesting. They might be able to over rough our spade here. Notice we can rough with the five because we have the five, six, seven, eight, and nine. They're all the same. We absolutely have to rough, and we're hoping that left hand opponent isn't void or they don't have a good uh, uh, card higher than the five, they did, right? So nothing we can do here, but now what are they gonna return? Uh, we'll take that, ace of spades. All right, so that's eight. Always remember when they rough, add that into your, uh, your count. So what I mean by eight is, I know we started with eight spades. My left-hand opponent, West, roughed one of those spades, right? So that's nine. This is 10, 11. Here comes 12, oh, nope, just 12. Right, so 12 is over here to the west, and now they have one more over there. Uh, this was probably a terrible choice by me. I should have roughed that heart. <laughs> well, I can't. I can rough the heart, I suppose, and hope that left that east is the one that actually has the spades. As it turned out, west would have been able to over rough that anyway for their extra trick, so I'm not too devastated about that. Um, and I know that they can't lead a heart, so I'm going to take a diamond finesse. And if it loses, I'm okay. They can either lead a spade, and eventually they're going to have to return a club or a diamond, right? A diamond's their best choice, obviously. Here I get to pitch a heart on that, right? And now I'm just going to have to play the ace and king of clubs. Notice I can't take a club finesse. I don't have the 10, folks. So I'm going to play the ace of clubs, the king of clubs, and then I'm going to rough a diamond. Maybe I could have roughed a diamond early and just ran some cards to see if they would pitch, but they're pretty good defenders on this one. So here, 
down one. I don't see a pathway to making it the way the cards are distributed. And look at that terrible spade break that we're getting there. But this is a win for staying low, folks, right? No matter... Oh, uh, no, it looks like we could have made this. We, uh, you know why? We, we have to kind of draw Trump very efficiently here. So watch this. It's going to go boom, boom, boom. And now when they play the king of spades, we play ace. We had to kind of cross over to dummy to be able to take another spade finesse. So we could have done that. Or it looks like even if we roughed a heart, we would give up that jack of spades. But now look. They're kind of end played here in any spot, right? So we can get a we can get a good end play uh, into them, and maybe even create some extra tricks. This is saying we can make over one over because look at that diamond play. Also, you can lead low towards the eight or nine diamonds and be successful. It's kind of crazy. Um, I, I hate seeing that I could have made an over trick and I went down one, but let's see where that happened. Like here, we can still recover, right? Uh, here we can't rough, but we can't play hard because now we're going to put East on lead for that winner. So this was okay for us, and there's where we went wrong, folks. It it wanted us to take this deep diamond finesse or rough out diamonds, apparently. We could have done that. We could have played ace of diamonds, diamond rough, club to the ace, diamond rough, club to the king, diamond rough, and that could have been successful as well. So uh, something I could have considered at the moment here. Uh, it wouldn't be the worst, actually. It looks like a good pathway to eight tricks because – Notice when we're when we're executing this play, we're leading towards this hand and the trumps are over here. Right. So uh, I could have found a way to make this one. OK, we'll go back. We'll 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 assume that's not great for us on board one. And sorry to take so much time on it. But the auction itself, I just I love this auction to show you how this works when you play new minor forcing. It's a perfectly good auction here to show this sort of shape. And remember, minor major no trump with this hand. And a good 10, we would have absolutely bid two clubs, right? Because we're either going to find a 4-4 four, four heart fit or a 5-3 spade fit. And then we'll invite either in those suits or in no trump, right? Whether or not we find a fit. But here, when we have this hand and a weakness, we just bid it naturally. And we know it's non-forcing. Good stuff. All right. Next chance to excel. One diamond to us. Make your bid, folks. What do you do with this hand? should be thinking of two things, probably. One no trump or two clubs. I like one no trump. One no trump is a good 15 to 18. Uh-oh, they're doubling for penalty, which means I'm going to bail out to my second choice, which is two clubs. And now I breathe a sigh of relief, folks. I have bailed out to two clubs because I think I'm much better playing in a trump suit with this sort of hand than I would be playing one no trump doubled. And then they bid. Thank you. I'm out. Right? So it went two hearts, which was looks like it's just natural. Two spades here. Interesting. And now they're bidding four spades. I'm going to lead a trump, folks. I have nothing else I want to do. I want to try to keep them from roughing cards, and I really don't want to be leading away from a lot of these cards anyway. I'm going to cover an honor with an honor here. And we're going to maybe see them wrap up a bunch of tricks, but we've done our job. Um, it'll be interesting to see what the robot chooses to do with this hand when we see the results on Friday. Did they overcall two clubs? Did they bid a no trump? And did that have any effect on this? Look at that. That pitch doesn't bother us at all. Uh, if they pitch clubs, it's going to start bothering us. And there it is. Right? And there it is again, folks. Yuck. Yuck, 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 yuck. They're going to take a whole... Wow. They had a king of hearts also. That's crazy. Uh, I don't know. I guess we ducked this one. All right. They don't give us a choice here. Now they rough and they just have the rest of the tricks. I don't know. Unless our partner has a trump or something. I wasn't really paying attention. And they don't. All right. That is minus 480. Hey, we kept them out of slam, maybe. <laughs> so notice, uh, if we choose to lead a club or a heart, we're probably going to take two tricks, right? And this is a match point uh, problem for us. At, at this point, if we just let a club or let a heart, we, we were not going to lead low from those holdings. So we would just take a look at the dummy. Um, and, and here we can take two tricks maximum. If we don't, If we don't lead those cards, though, I'll show you. They're just destined to take uh, extra tricks, right? So here, the the spade lead should lead to only a plus one, but what happened? Oh, our, us covering the diamond, right? If we duck the diamond, right? Which honestly, I'm I'm not prone to ducking this too often, right? Because notice, if they win this and then it goes low to the ace, they can just rough out our king of diamonds. So here, we're just trying to create a trick for partner. As it turns out, it provides them something very crucial on this hand. It provides them transportation. So here it is. 
it's not unreasonable to duck this because we happen to know that they can't transport over in spades. They can't necessarily do it quickly in hearts either. So at this point, another another mistake in hindsight here, just a, a quick kind of execution of a normal strategy covering an honor with an honor. If we think a little more deeply about it, and honestly, it's not that hard to come up with because look at this, folks. If we duck this, we do happen to know that they're going to be stuck in dummy next, and we have the ace of hearts and the ace of clubs, and the spade ace is gone, right? So they have no way to get back, and maybe we get two clubs. Maybe we get one heart and one club, but we have a chance to do better is the key. However, if partner has like the jack or the ten of diamonds over there and we didn't cover this, now we've given them a different line to take extra tricks. So this is a darned if you do, darned if you don't situation. But interesting, the rules are are going to frequently be right, right? In fact, that's why they're good rules. But sometimes they may not provide uh, the correct uh advantage essentially and that's just the way things are going to go right so that's it for our first two boards here uh i took my time with these two and i did terrible so let's let's see this next hand Ooh, this one's going to be interesting what are we going to start with here i bet some of you can guess if you've seen this before but uh i will see you tomorrow for for these hands thanks a lot folks and uh have a great week at the bridge tables